Greetings! Welcome and welcome back to my channel. I'm Messages from Lexi and I'm very elated to be back with another Timeless Pick a Card reading. For today, I'm going to do a viewer's choice topic. What is the tea? What is the gossip about you? I have three conjure oils handmade by me available in my shop you guys can choose from. Much love to those of you guys who've been showing me trust, patience, and support. And for those of you guys who missed out on my full moon group ritual for that money drawing, the new moon date for new moon, uh, new prosperity, new money is now scheduled and also available on my website. Okay, all right. So with that being said, I'm going to number off the three conjure oils you guys have to choose from. And then we're going to jump into your readings and see what's the tea on you. So pile one is this open roads oil, abre camino. Pile two is this a money drawing oil. Okay, get that money, honey. <laughs> and then pile three is this fast luck oil. Okay, so those are the three contra oils you guys have to choose from. If you've already chosen your pile, that's a wonderful time stamps are down below. If you need some more time to choose, it's totally okay. You can go back, pause, meditate, do what you need to do to pick the proper pile. Otherwise, we'll go ahead and jump into your reading. Greetings! Welcome to Pile 1. Those of you guys who chose this road opening oil, open roads, abre camino. I'm going to go ahead and get the vibe right so we can go ahead and skip to the tea, see what are people talking about, what are people thinking, what is the gossip, etc. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Let's get into this, y'all. And so, this is the spirit guides of the highest good, my lovely, beautiful, gorgeous, phenomenal souls who chose pile one. And so, this is the spirit guides of my lovely, gorgeous, beautiful, phenomenal souls who chose pile one. Talk to me, I talk back. Thank you. Ooh. Ancestors, talk to me, I talk back. And just a friendly reminder this is tea. Okay. Sometimes I feel like I need to put a trigger warning. It's not always bad, but y'all, it is tea. It's not always true. That's why it's gossip. So if you're feeling a little sensitive today, you know, just come back and click when you're feeling a little bit more resilient, okay? All right. So we have addict in reverse. Compromises integrity and honesty allows an addictive pattern to have authority over your inner spirit. We have a visionary here in reverse. Selling insights to the highest bidder, compromising your vision to make it more acceptable. Okay, so first of all, this is for those of you guys where you're in the spotlight or where you're on social media or you're trying to become someone who is recognized in the entertainment industry, the influencer industry online in some way, shape, or form. People are gossiping that there's some type of inauthenticity about you. Um, like there's something fake about how you present yourself or you know, you're talking about things you don't really believe in. That's not for all of you, but that's strictly for those of you guys where you're doing something in the entertainment industry or you're trying to bring into the entertainment industry, influencer industry. YouTube, TikTok, etc. Okay. Now, for all of you guys, people are saying that you are addicted to attention. Um, yeah, they're saying you're addicted to attention. Shout out to my Leo placements who have entered the chat. Shout out to my Aquarius placements who have entered the chat. And shout out to my Pisces placements who have entered the chat. Special, special shout out for y'all. Okay. If you guys don't have those placements, it's really no big deal. Um, Aries as well. <laughs> Yeah, people are saying you're addicted to attention or you're addicted to the validation of being praised for a good job or um, I'm hearing teacher's pet. Some people are saying you're like the kid who was a teacher's pet. You're addicted to praise. You're addicted to validation. You're addicted to likes. You're addicted to hearing you've done a good job. So people are saying... Um, especially like if you are someone who goes above and beyond at work, your coworkers are saying, you know, you're addicted to receiving praise and you're just trying to show off, you know, instead of a teacher's pet, now you're the boss's pet. <laughs> um, that's interesting. We have queen. Now that is coming up of bright. Radiates the regal feminine, uses her benevolent authority to protect others. For those of you guys where you have a pet or you have children, um, people are actually saying that you are a great mother and they want to know how you're able to keep yourself presentable or how you're able to hold yourself together with all that you have on your plates. Um, even for those of you guys where you don't have kids, the last sentence applies, okay? So 
a lot of people are trying to figure out how you are able to hold yourself together despite all the things that you have on your plate so some of you guys have kids or your multiple jobs or your school and work like there's a lot this group is juggling if you're not juggling a lot then this group is definitely not for you for some of you you know you have like a home that you own on your own and whatever it is people are like gossiping about how does pile one hold it together what does pile one do to you know keep themselves balanced and keep themselves looking good and keep themselves in a seemingly positive space while juggling all these obligations or juggling all these debts and responsibilities <clears throat> interesting so we have king in reverse excessive feelings of entitlement rulership without restraint so some people feel like you're a bit entitled okay um the rulership without restraint doesn't really apply to you guys i'm not feeling it's more so excessive feelings of entitlement that's really standing out um so some people feel like you are a little bit entitled or a little bit spoiled if you had an so this is hard how do i put this Despite how you feel about your upbringing, there are people who feel like you've had some privileges in some way, shape, or form. Um, whether that's just in certain instances or your entire upbringing, it's up to the individual who's watching. But there are people who feel like you've had some privileges growing up in one way or another, whether it's your looks, the income, you know, the parents, does not matter. And because of this privilege, they feel like you're a little bit spoiled or a little bit entitled, okay? I do feel there's a little bit of green eye and jealousy with that, but some people just feel uh, because you know you deserve good things, they're translating that as entitlement. So we have oppression. People are gossiping about how you hide your feelings or you hide what you're truly thinking. At least that's how they perceive you. Seven of Swords just fell out, okay? So again, people will feel like you hide your true intentions, you hide your true feelings. You say what you feel needs to be said in order to keep you in a positive light, in order to keep you in a favorable view, even if that contradicts with how you feel inside. At least that's how people are, you know, feeling you. That <laughs> At least that's how people are perceiving you, and that's what they're gossiping about, okay? Um, there's also a couple people who feel like you're too restrained during times when you should be relaxed. So there's someone who wishes you would like let loose, let your hair down, relax a little bit more, enjoy yourself, have fun. It's like they feel like you repress the side of yourself um, that likes to have fun. And for some of you guys, you actually do do this. But I am picking up that for quite a few you're only like this around this person because you don't like them or you don't trust them. Ooh. So we have Nine of Swords here. Jeez. <laughs> we have Strife, Five of Wands. Any other? And then we have Ten of Pentacles. All right, so the final message I have here is there are people who are gossiping about how they feel that you are tough competition in work. Um, you are a tough competitor, okay? They are gossiping about how they feel you're willing to do whatever it takes to get to this Ten of Pentacles, this wealth, this stability, this success, however you perceive your success. And they view you as a threat to their own success. For some of you, there's actually um, someone who already feels slighted by you. And for others, this is someone who feels like they will be slighted by you, okay? I'm getting a mixed bag. For some, this is a past job or a past coworker. And they're saying how it really bothers them that you beat them in some type of work comp competition or you slighted them in work and they feel like that has played a direct role in their success. And for others of you, someone is gossiping, forecasting that this is a threat and they're trying to find ways to mitigate it. So they view you as a threat to their financial future in some way, shape or form because you guys are either direct competition or you guys are connected in career in some way, shape or form, okay? 
So that's what I have for you guys, pile one. Interesting reading. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Y'all know where to go down below. If you like to book readings, rituals, all that greatness. Otherwise, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Greetings! Welcome, pile two. Those of you guys who chose this money drawing oil. I'm gonna go ahead and get this vibe right, and then we're gonna see what is the tea, what is the gossip, what are people saying. Alright, 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 pile two. Alright, let's see. What do I want to use for y'all? I'm probably drawn to this deck right now. Okay. Ancestors and spirit guides of the highest good, my lovely, beautiful, gorgeous, phenomenal souls who chose pile two. Ooh. <laughs> Ancestors and spirit guides of the highest good of my lovely, gorgeous, beautiful, phenomenal souls who chose pile two. Talk to me and talk back. What does pile two need to know? What is the gossip? What is the tea? What are people saying about pile two? Ancestors. What does pile two need to know? What is the oh, what is the gossip? What is the tea? Okay, so we have building blocks. Ancestors because I have escaped pile two. What is the geez? What's trying to come out? Ancestors. <laughs> Alright, flexible. What is the gossip? What is the tea? Come to the edge. Huh. Okay, so right off the bat, gossip. This is interesting. There are people talking about how you are pushing yourself to the edge in regards to your living situation. And I see this materializing in a couple of different ways, depending on who's watching. Um, for some of you, I'm getting, it's like your budget, you know? Some people are saying you need to be more flexible in the type of living situation that you're open to right now, um, because they feel like you're living outside of your means or the type of housing that you want is outside of your budget. Um, and for those of you guys where you don't live on your own yet, but you're trying to live on your own, um, I'm getting there. Whoever you live with has this concern. Like you're going to put yourself in a situation that you can't afford because you don't want to compromise with your living situation. Now, for some of you, this has to do with the type of area that you live in. Like perhaps it's not safe or, you know, perhaps there's a lot of things with your neighborhood that's incompatible with you. But rather than being flexible and just finding a way to leave and find something that's better, you're staying in a situation that makes you miserable and is pushing you to the edge, making you impatient or irritable or upset uncomfortable because you are someone who is a bit more fixed you could have a fixed sign um somewhere in one of the prominent placements of your chart or you can just be an earth sign okay or have earth sign placements but i'm seeing that because some of you guys hate relocating or you hate moving or you really were hoping to find one place to sit and settle you are just toughing it out. You don't want to be flexible and leave. You know, there's some type of uh, stress or something involved with that, okay? You know, for quite a few of you, I'm also getting like it applies with work as well. Like you're staying in a work situation that you aren't content with or you're staying in a career situation that you're not content with and you know it's time to seek something that uh, is more flexible around your wants and your needs, you know, or you know it's time to seek something that would allow you with more financial flexibility, but again, because there's someone where you don't like to change too much or you really want to just focus on building yourself up in one place, one space at this time, you're keeping yourself somewhere that's like pushing you um, in the wrong way, okay? At least this is the gossip. Okay, so let's see. Ancestors and spirit guides in the highest good of my lovely, beautiful. All right, all right, all right. Hangman. <laughs> exactly. People are saying it's like you're keeping yourself stuck in situations that it's time for you to move on from. Page of Wands. They're saying that you have the potential, you have the capacity, you have the means to find better situations for yourself. However, you're keeping yourself stuck or you're being inflexible 
and it's working against you. It's causing you to feel things that you don't have to feel or it's going to put you in a situation where you feel stuck. And it's not because there are all these blocks in your path externally, but it's because internally you have mental or emotional blocks that keeps you from moving on, um, you know, when you know it's time. Interesting. Possible how to ancestors and spirit guides possible. We have the Empress. People are gossiping about how you have just this endless potential to create. Some of them are saying just how creative you are, period. But it's like you have all these different possibilities and roads that are open to you. And you can create so many beautiful possibilities for yourself. And yet you keep yourself stuck for the sake of, for the sake of stability or for the sake of, you know not wanting to embrace the unknown or take a risk okay we have six of pentacles what is the gossip <laughs> for you pile two a lot of the gossip is centered around genuine concern um with the six of pentacles here there's a uh, people a few not too many who are gossiping about how they wish you would stop giving so much to others and how they wish you would give more to yourself. <clears throat> They're also gossiping about how you can definitely work on becoming better at receiving help. Like they've offered to help you or they've hinted toward helping you, but it's like you shoot it down or you're always hesitant to take it or you're always like, are you sure? <laughs> Do you really want to help me? Or you start to feel bad or like you owe someone something. So... There are a few people who are gossiping about how you're not really good at receiving help or asking for help and you are too good at giving it and they wish you would find a better balance between that, okay? And speaking of finding a... <laughs> this is wild. <laughs> a temperance came out, okay? Temperance. And what's on temperance better is the box that sh checked, okay? Temperance balance better. So thank you for that clarifying message. Thank you for clarifying that spirit again. People are wishing you would find a better balance between give or take. Um, and I'm not really getting, it's like a selfishness thing. It's like you're maybe a little bit too selfless and you're not selfish enough. Okay, so the last message I'm getting, uh, the gossip and again, for you guys, this gossip is really focused and centered around concern or excitement for your well-being. So I don't really have to give like the gossip disclaimer, um, which is really, you know, pleasantly surprising. Um, but the final message I have for you guys is people are gossiping, more so discussing how you are really trying to improve your financial future. And you're really investing a lot of time and energy and effort and trying to better yourself or trying to do better than... Um, previous generations okay and this is especially for those of you guys where you are striving to be the first in your family to own a home or first in your family to have a certain type of retirement or first in your family to be a successful business owner um some of you guys are first in your family to get a degree so that especially applies for you guys okay so that's what i have for you guys pal too very cool reading like share comment subscribe y'all know where to go down below if you like to book readings rituals all that greatness i love you you love and i hope you have a great rest of your day <laughs> greetings welcome pile three those of you guys who chose this fast black player i'm gonna go ahead and get the vibe right so we can get the tea the gossip etc <laughs> i'm in a silly mood today y'all so don't mind me okay Alright, so let's get into this. Ancestors and spirit guides. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, the highest good of pile three. Ancestors and spirit guides are the highest good of pile three. Talk to me, I talk back. Ancestors and spirit guides are the highest good of pile three. Talk to me, I talk back. What does pile three need to know? What is the team? What is the gossip? Thank you. What is the tea? What is the gossip? Okay, so right off the bat, what this advocate inspires you to put passion into action. 
And then we have seeker, thirst for wisdom and truth wherever they are. People are gossiping about how you are a little bit lost and not necessarily in a judgy way or in a malicious way, but it's like they feel like you're trying to find your truth or you're trying to find your purpose. You're trying to find what makes you passionate. What do you want to work towards? What's the legacy you want to leave? Uh, you know, what drives you? For some of you, you're struggling to find a career path that aligns with your values and what you're passionate about, okay? So people are definitely gossiping about how they feel like you're a little bit lost. And not lost, you know, necessarily in a bad way. It's just you're actively in a place where you're trying to find yourself and, you know, where you're headed. And again, you know, the type of legacy you want to leave. What do you want your life to look like? We have the Fool. Fearlessly revealing emotions, helping people laugh at absurdity and hypocrisy. So I'm getting a couple different things here. Some people feel like you are a bit directionless. Um, sorry if you can hear that. My fan, my AC just came on. You know, it's that time of the year. <laughs> Some people feel like you are a little bit directionless or you keep changing your path or changing your mind. You know, one second you want to be a chef, the next second you want to be a stay at home, whatever. The next second you want to be a pilot, the next second you want to be a president. You know, one minute you want to retire in Canada, then you want to retire in Sweden, then you want to retire in the States, you know. <laughs> in some way, shape or form, they feel like you're directionless because you're still trying to find yourself in your path. And because of this, you know, you keep changing your mind or you keep changing where you live or where you work or, you know, what your degree path is. And they're saying how this is not necessarily sustainable, but they understand what you're going through. You know, everybody goes through this at one point, but they're like they're concerned that it's not sustain sustainable for you at this time, especially for those of you guys where this is influencing how often you're moving or how often you are um, changing your job, okay? We have lover in reverse. Now, um, with that being said, there are some of you guys where people feel as though <laughs> rather than showing how you really feel it's like you laugh right so when you're nervous you laugh when you're upset you laugh um, or you try to laugh off the serious aspects of life instead of taking it serious uh, almost like sometimes you don't know when to switch off that silly trait or you know it may be a defense mechanism for you but you know this does frustrate some people and they gossip about it be careful about doing this at work because I do see there's a coworker who might go to a superior with a complaint about that. For those of you where that applies. Now, with this lover in reverse, we have obsessive passion that harms others, self-destructive devotion. Um, <laughs> shout out to my twin flames. Hey, no, I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm throwing shade, y'all. I'm just, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, but no, seriously. Now, I'm getting a couple different messages from this. Some of you guys get so caught up in love or the romance or the desire for love seeking of love you can neglect other aspects of life you know like for example you're excited about a new love and then you stop hanging out with your friends or you know you're trying to find love and you're not focusing maybe enough time on finding the right job you know <laughs> so people feel like you could be a little bit of a hopeless romantic and that's why you've been taken advantage of in the past or that's why you're at risk of being taken advantage of in the future and, you know, I'm going to keep it frank. You know, some of you guys have displayed uh, overly attached and maybe even, maybe even obsessive. Not all of you guys. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. <laughs> okay. Um, but some of you guys have displayed some overly attached or overly obsessive, you know, tendencies and love and whoever you display this towards is def definitely gossiping about that situation and how you did the most and how you were foolish and how you know that situation was just too much for them okay um so yeah <laughs> it is what it is uh let's see i'm gonna go on to this deck now ancestors and spirit guides the highest good of my lovely beautiful gorgeous phenomenal souls who chose pile three Ancestors and spirit guides, what highest good of pile three? Talk to me, I talk back. What is the gossip? What does pile three need to know? Princess of Cups, yeah. You know, you struggle to stay grounded sometimes. It's like you're a little bit flighty. At least this is what people are gossiping about. They feel like you're a little bit flighty. You know, you're ruled more by your emotions or your imagination than reality sometimes. It's like you have to get back down to earth or you need a reminder to get back to earth. <laughs> Otherwise, you're like a balloon. You'll just float anywhere. 
you know. And again, that hopeless romantic, that overly dreamy aspect of love. Um, there's definitely gossip that you may have a little bit of an unrealistic view of love and romance. You expect things to be a little bit more like a Disney movie or a rom-com and you forget that people are people and humans are humans and you know at the end of the day ish happens things happen it's not always gonna be like that Disney fairy tale you know ten of cups comes out yeah people are definitely gossiping about how you view love and relationships how you look at it in an unrealistic way and you're setting yourself up for failure they feel like you need to develop a more realistic view of love and relationships instead of looking at everything as if it's all going to just be happy two of cups and I mean you know this may be true or these people may be cynical I mean it's up to you to decide not me but <clears throat> definitely a lot of gossip surrounding your unrealistic views in love or what they feel are unrealistic views in love <laughs> okay remember y'all this is gossip this isn't advice, this isn't truth or, you know, not truth, this is just gossip. <laughs> Alright, so we have, yeah, Princess of Pentacles. People are definitely gossiping about how there's a need to just ground yourself. There's all this dreaminess and flightiness and you just need to ground yourself and just start building. Um, this isn't for everyone, but for the select few of you where you've recently spoken to someone about your retirement and your progress with retirement or savings, they're really concerned about where you're at and they are hoping that you just start throwing more into that, okay? So we have the High Priestess. Again, you know, that intuition, that dreaminess, the focusing on uncovering those truths. And people recognize that you have a passion for this, but sometimes they feel like it can be a little bit unbalanced. We have the Hermits, that Virgo energy. There's gossip that sometimes you have the tendency to self-isolate so that you can live in this la-la land. Or they feel like if you are confronted about this, I don't even know what to call it, trait of yours. Or um, if you're confronted about how you view things or this dreaminess or this need to ground yourself, they feel like you'll just isolate yourself or walk away or cut yourself off because you don't want to hear the truth. For some of you, this is like parents. Oh, well, I want to tell, you know, Pile 3 this, but if I tell her this, then she's going to get mad and she won't talk to me type thing, you know? Um, Knight of Pentacles. For some of you, if you keep changing your jobs or if you keep changing your mind about your career path, um, I'm definitely getting, or even your degree, um, Three of Wands, there's gossip about how you need to just pick something and take your future seriously because you're running out of time and they're concerned about that, okay? We have the chariot. <laughs> we have um, Prince of Pentacles. My apologies, I almost called that page. So again, it's like all these pentacles are starting to come out, especially alongside the chariot. They're like, okay, you just need to start building yourself up, building up that portfolio. Again, for those of you guys where you recently spoke to someone, whether it's a professional or just a trusted person about your retirement or where you're at financially they're like okay you just need to start building yourself investing you know building up that portfolio they're really concerned about your future and the growth and if you don't buckle down and figure things out now they're concerned that it's going to come back to bite you in the future but again they don't really want to say too much because they feel like for whatever reason you're not receptive to this type of information okay so that's the gossip about you. Very interesting. Pile three. Um, like, share, comment, subscribe. Y'all know where to go down below if you like to book readings, rituals, all that greatness. Otherwise, I'm sending you love and I hope you have a phenomenal rest of your day.